Hi guys and welcome to another video. It's been a long time but nothing interesting has really been happening uh, until now. So as you probably guessed from the opening shots I am somewhere different. I'm currently in Alcudia so temperature is pretty nice. Just landed a few hours ago and yeah but I'd uh, get away while we have this opportunity to, to do so which might be the only one of the year to be honest so I figured why not. So yeah, I'm just on the way to Lidl now, I'm gonna get some supplies, just the usual stuff, water, coke, chocolate, for the uh, hotel room. So yeah, I wasn't intending on coming somewhere like this at this time of year because it probably is just a tad, a tad too warm. But when we Yorker made it onto the green list, when was it, last Thursday, I figured, yeah, like I said earlier, it might be the only opportunity you actually get to go away. So I messaged a guy I know that's living out here, he said, is it too hot to cycle at the moment? He was like, nah, you, you should come out, just be careful, don't ride too much in the midday sun, try and be in the mountains then if you're going to be out, because then it'll be a bit cooler, and stay really hydrated, loads of salt tablets, so stocked up on all that good stuff before I left home. Then booked it last week, flew out 6am this morning, and yeah, now I'm here. So normally I do a little bit of a bike setup and uh, a test ride as soon as I get here, go for 50k or something, something quite easy and that's what I've done in the past but wow, the journey here just seemed to take so long that I was just so completely worn out, I just collapsed in my bed and slept for four hours so yeah, I'm going to go back to, well I'm going to go to Lidl now and then stock up on what things I need, then go back to the hotel. I'll show you what facilities the hotel have got. They've got a pretty cool sort of like bike garage and workshop and stuff. Um, unfortunately, it's mandatory that you use it, which I've not come across before. But it's only a euro a day, and uh, I guess it's better than having it in your in your room. Well, as long as stuff doesn't get stolen. So yeah, I'm um, going to carry on walking towards Little now, and I'll catch back up with you when I'm in the room. Okay, so this is the kind of bike workshop storage area. As you can see, there's only a couple of bikes in at the moment over there. Um, well, it's a quiet time for, for cyclists, really, because like I said earlier, it is getting uh, a bit warmer. Um, I still think they're probably a little bit over ambitious with the amount of cycle parking they've got in here. Um, but who knows, maybe when the uh, the big sportif, uh, is it the Mallorca 321? Maybe when that's on, this does fill up. But yeah, it's quite a nice setup. It's keycard access, and all the people who paid for this bike zone can get in. Um, yeah, loads of storage, some track pumps, including the Joe Blow ones, so not just crappy ones, decent ones as well. Selection of tools here, and some more tools over there, some stands. You can even pay for someone to come and give you a massage if that's what you want. So yeah, that's that's it really. Um, this might fill up a little bit more later on, um, but right now I just need to assemble this. Okay, so here's my bike assembled. Just put it away for the evening. I've been for a quick spin around Porta Alcudia, and uh, yeah, it's riding lovely. I don't think I've shown the bike too much on the channel before. It's a Canyon Endurace um, with an Ultegra group set, but the old Ultegra, it's about, four and a half years old now but it's still going strong it's got a few wounds on it mainly from uh, damage in transit actually <laughs> yeah the bike box i'm using is this bike box alan so in the past i've rented bike boxes and it's just a hassle you have to go and pick it up and drop it off and it ends up costing you like 60 or 70 quid to rent it for just over a week so decided that during the last lockdown to buy my own. Uh, these were on pretty good offer, they were about hundred pound off and the bike box Allens, which tend to be rated the best. Um, I basically never on offer from, from what I'm aware because I've been following the prices for a couple of years now. So yeah, bought that over lockdown and it's a great bike box. Everything fits really well. Uh, there's loads of space in it. I've used smaller ones before where you've got like a wheel at each side of the box. And they're the ones that have kind of damaged the frame because it's just too tight to fit in there. And obviously I've not used enough packaging when using it, but yeah, I've got that now. And yeah, it's really good so far. So far, so good. 
Um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, probably combine this with a video of tomorrow of the ride I'm going to do. Tonight is just uh, planning that ride because I think I'm going to do the ride I was going to do this afternoon, but extend it a bit. Okay, so it's the next day now. Um, it is about nine o'clock in the morning. Just had breakfast about an hour ago. Had a bit of a rest afterwards and going to go out on the bike. So just in the bike parking area now. There were quite a few bikes here yesterday, but all but one has gone now. Um, some more came back in the evening. So people are obviously getting out early before the, the sun comes up. So yeah, the ride today, we're gonna go up to the lighthouse, which was my original sort of familiarization ride plan yesterday that didn't happen. Um, so that's only about 70K I think return. So I put a little extension on, just go inland a bit afterwards and uh, visit a cafe inland a little bit that I've been to before that's, that's really good. So I'm gonna do some on bike shots of the ride and then I'll probably film a little bit when we get to the lighthouse as well. Okay, let's get set off. We made it to the lighthouse at Formentor and uh, as you can see the views are absolutely stunning. There's hardly anybody here. Uh, there's the views out over the Mediterranean. There's the lighthouse, probably blinded by the sun there. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> the GoPro just ran out of battery as I turned the final corner to the lighthouse but I'm pretty sure we got the view as I was descending the uh, the small descent before the small climb up here. It's actually really quiet, I guess is a combination of it's getting a little bit close to high season for the temperature. I know I keep mentioning that. Also the COVID stopped a lot of the tourists coming and also cars are banned here in summer now, which is really good because if you look at videos from a few years ago, you'll see that it's just absolutely rammed with vehicles and it's pretty dangerous. So now cars are banned on the, uh, the last sort of 10K of this route. It's really, really good. Right, I'm gonna descend back into Plains now. Well, I say descend, there's a, a climb halfway, um, but not as much climbing as coming here. I'm going to stop off at a bike shop there, maybe grab a drink, and then go over to this cafe that's inland. <music> So yeah, we just had a bite to eat at Ruta Verta in Kaimari, uh, which I just showed on the screen just then. Yeah, really nice, had a bagel and glass lemonade. And now we've just got a easy 15-ish miles back towards uh, the coast, and then we'll go up the coast for about five miles, then we're back at the hotel. Might stop off at Bike Point on the way, never been there, been recommended, might have a cake and a coffee, something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a glorious day, it's really hot. Just keep reapplying the suntan lotion and make sure I'm drinking loads of fluids. Right, let's crack on. All right, back in the hotel now. Pretty knackered. Um, I did go past Bike Point, but it was completely empty. So didn't bother going in there. Um, there's still some bikes missing in here, so I guess people that are out before me have uh, still not come back, which is quite a long time to be out at the moment. Uh, I guess maybe if you're up in the mountains or something. 
Yeah, the weather is absolutely spot on. Um, so we did 108 kilometers total. Um, I'm not sure how much climbing. Okay, so it's the evening now. Um, just editing the video and realized I didn't do a little outro. So the climbing was about four and a half thousand feet, just under, which is a bit less than I thought it was going to be, and a lot less than Rider GPS said it was going to be. Um, but no, still, still a good solid uh, day's climbing for for what it was, because the second half was completely flat, pretty much all the way out to the cafe stop and then back home. So yeah, that's that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna put a few more up while I'm here in Mallorca. Uh, and as always, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that.